For much of the past two weeks, we've been following efforts to recapture a killer in Pennsylvania. Aaron Moriarty looks back at his escape, his time on the run, and ultimate capture. We are all fascinated about individuals escaping from inescapable places. From the moment 34-year-old Danilo Cavacante crab walked his way out of a Pennsylvania County facility and into our consciousness, Jeff Mello, like so many Americans, was hooked. I've never seen anyone walk up a wall in that crab-like style um, to escape. Mello is a professor at the John Jay College of Criminal Justice in Manhattan and has studied over 500 prison breaks. Few, he says, begin as dramatically as this one or last as long. Most escapees are caught over 60% within the first few days. Not Calvacante, wanted for murder in Brazil and convicted of killing a former girlfriend here in the U.S., he was about to begin a life sentence when he slipped away on August 31st. It was just grueling for the investigators that were out there. Robert Clark is Supervisory Deputy U.S. Marshal. He actually said we almost stepped on him up to three times. How close did investigators get to him? He described it with uh, less than 10 yards. Calvaconte was sighted at least a dozen times, including on a doorbell video camera, where he appeared clean-shaven and in new clothes. He stole a backpack. And inside that backpack was uh, a razor and I believe a sweatshirt. But early Wednesday morning, Calvacante ran out of luck and triggered a home alarm. Hours later, the search ended peacefully with the help of a dog named Yoda. Yoda is a three to four year old uh, male Malinois and he's a bite and hold dog. What is a bite hold dog? When it gets a bite, it will hold you until your handler calls you off. Escapes like this catch our attention. But Jeff Mello says they are few and far between. Approximately 9 million individuals cycle in and out of jails every single year. In state, prisons have approximately 600,000 releases. Our data suggest each year maybe 2,500, 2,800 escapes throughout the country looking at a rate, uh, maybe 10.5 per 10,000, numbers that identify them as rare events. Why does a story like this fascinate people so much? Cops and robbers, it's always been a fascination. And this is one of those stories that people got hooked on. It had, had all the elements to it. Thankfully, it ended up well. William Bratton led the police departments in New York and Los Angeles, a law enforcement veteran. Events like this may be fodder for film. But Bratton cautions that fugitives like Calicante should never be glorified. They're not Shawshank Redemption where you were rooting for him to get out of that jail. In this case, as an individual committed uh, two murders, there should be no sympathy or empathy for them. And Danilo Cavacante himself made that point chillingly clear. Were there any details about this particular manhunt and the capture that really surprised you? Cavacante did make a statement uh, when we were interviewing him that he knew he had to pay for the crime he had committed. However, he wasn't going to pay for it with his life. So, you know, how far was a desperate man going to go? 